We got to the last question of the test. It was about a 40-minute test. And the last question itself was worth 20% of the whole test. And the woman who taught the class had asked as that question, what is the name of the janitor who cleans the room? None of us knew the answer. It was December. We'd been there three months. None of us knew the answer. We saw the janitor every day. We didn't have the respect to speak to him and learn his name. There's a confluence of the ethical and the practical in life. So I ask you to resolve to take the high road. And in your quest, pause now and then to ease the burdens of your fellow travelers. You know, it's been said that we all go through life with partly broken hearts. Any definition of a successful life must include service to others. We've all drunk from wells we didn't dig. I reject the prevailing notice, notion that the pursuit of selfishness has overtaken the possibility of compassion. And I ask you to reject it as well. Not just by giving a few hundred dollars to your local charity or taking a titular position on the hospital board, but by devoting your time and your skills to something worthwhile, to really pull on the oars and make a difference in areas where you are qualified to do so. Here, the evocative words of the magnificent 17th century metaphysical poet George Herbert in his brief piece entitled Virtue. Sweet day, so cool, so calm, so bright. The bridal of the earth and sky, the dew shall weep thy fall tonight, for thou must die. Sweet rose, whose hue angry and brave bids the rash gazer wipe his eye, Thy root is ever in its grave, and thou must die. <coughs> sweet spring, full of sweet days and roses, a box where sweets compacted lie. My music shows ye have your closes, and all must die. Only a sweet and virtuous soul, like seasoned timber, never gives. But though the whole world turn to coal, then chiefly lives. At the end of my days, I do not want the devil, the footman, to snicker and hold my coat. If I have led well, and stood for something. I think I won't have to worry. You know, at this school, we teach you lots of things we know you'll soon forget. Because we don't know how to teach you what you'll always need to know. Compassion. Commitment. Concern, involvement, and love. I submit that the saddest phrase of middle age is, I wish I had. How much better to be able to say, with open eyes I have dared and cherish no regrets. It's undeniably tougher to create your own opportunity than to be part of someone else's. But I've been down the entrepreneurial road, and it offers unparalleled exhilaration. 
If you choose to take that road, ignore the naysayers because very likely your only supporters will be other entrepreneurs and those with blind faith in you. So do it if you will. My confidence is in your minds and in your imaginations and in your convictions. And finally, these words of Robert Frost, which my students have heard before. I shall be telling this with a sigh somewhere ages and ages hence. Two roads diverged in the wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that's made all the difference, end quote. Thank you. Should we stop or try to do questions? Want to questions. Questions, okay. Yeah. Too late for questions, maybe. Okay, thank you all very much. <laughs>